What is going on YouTube? We're gonna continue this series on the off-season training. Now, one of the questions that I received in the previous video and some of the questions that I've received online or via Instagram is how my training is kind of changed relative to my nationals prep and then now in the off-season. So I really wanna go ahead and cover that today. Of course, the footage is playing and we're rolling with that so let me go ahead and break this down for you all right now i am training six times a week as per usual i actually switched over to six day training split earlier this year around january uh, maybe february i could be wrong but i'll be maintaining a six six uh training days per week basically with uh, one official rest day and what I'm currently following is a lower upper split so basically Monday Wednesday and Friday are all lower body splits and Tuesday Thursday Saturday are upper body split, uh, upper body training days so and I rotate between the two so lower body upper body lower body upper body lower body upper body rest and repeat and of course, I'm maintaining the same parameters as far as the training block. I currently, and have been following this for quite some time now, is a three up, one down block or training style. Whereas basically the first week and the second and third, we're, we're building either intensity or accumulating fatigue vol through volume and intensity. And then on the fourth week, we be lower or pull back a little bit. So I just finished, you're actually taking a look at week three, I just finished the harder week of the block and oh I just realized I made a mistake. So it says comp bench 4x8, well if you'll see this is my top set at 140 kilos or 308 pounds and I actually failed this set. I only get 7 reps on Monday night, Tuesday night. And honestly, Monday was okay, but Tuesday through Thursday, I had terrible sleep. So my endurance was kind of just shot down. So as you can see, I kind of honestly, I don't, it's hard to explain, but basically you just run out of peak energy out of nowhere. Strength wasn't necessarily an issue. It was just my muscular fitness. It was just drained. Warming up was a chore. Uh, and so that's what happened so this week was pretty tough to be quite honest with you because of the lack of sleep I started a new rotation at my dietetic internship so that one kind of threw me for a loop as far as recovery goes but anyways as I was saying following it up a lower upper split we're training six days out of the week and I just finished my third and final and hard week of the block so this upcoming week, starting tomorrow, the 11th, being Monday, I will be going through a bit of a deload, not necessarily a full-on deload, but we're pulling back on the volume, the total volume, and that's really been the main focus on this block of training. So this is the first block immediately after Raw Nationals, and the goal or the emphasis has been to focus on building work capacity, working in rep ranges that I haven't touched in quite some time. So that's typically on the higher end. So anywhere between eight and 12 reps for squats. It's same, <clears throat> excuse me, Sim similar thing for bench press and then for deadlift, not 100% there, but on the higher end as well. So you guys just saw those deadlifts and I was pulling sets of five. Again, I honestly, I was just feeling terrible. So I opted for sets of five as opposed to the, the recommended or suggested sets of seven because I wanted to maintain the intensity as opposed to getting the, the reps in. I find that deadlift tends to react or respond much better to lower reps or higher intensity for me. And this is, honestly, this is mostly due to the fact that I can recover better from that as opposed to higher rep scheme. I tend to save the higher rep scheme for either squats or bench press. And that has worked out pretty well so far. So 
like I said, the main focus of this block has been volume. So this is, I guess you can kind of call this more of a bodybuilding type or style of training where it's high reps again. And now that I'll be finishing this block, I'll be moving straight into a more of a strength or powerlifting style, lower reps, higher percentages. So next block will actually be my official first block of this off season. Um, and there will be some changes re relative to my exercises, the movements themselves, obviously the reps and the sets as well. And of course, with that being said, the intensity is going to change as well. So a lot of changes are coming next block, which I definitely look forward to. I can only handle so much volume now these days, just because, honestly, I've been waking up so sore. And some people like that feeling of soreness because it, they feel like they actually trained or worked out. But I feel the exact opposite. Soreness, to me, is, is really just an indicator that you did not recover from what you previously did, right? So on Monday I train and then if I wake up on Tuesday super sore, which I have been every single day, especially this week because again, the lack of sleep, then I know I am not recovering from the work that I am doing while training. So we, when that happens, number one is make sure you're eating enough, right? So for me, I have been a little sloppy as far as my nutrition goes this week. However, I've still been, I've still maintained a higher calorie intake. So for me, I just need to make sure I clean up the, the nutrition a bit again. But most importantly, I need to make sure I sleep better. Just because sleep is, it, we, we don't seem to talk about how important sleep is to our training and overall just general health. Like I said, when I didn't sleep very well on two, a Monday night, my performance was shot the next day on Tuesday, which kind of led me to fill that that top set on bench, which theoretically I, I had that in the bag because the last two weeks I was moving weight that I hadn't in ways that I hadn't in ever. So it, it should have been there, you know, but it you know, things happen. So that just gives us another opportunity to reevaluate what's going on outside of training to make sure that we're enhancing that in order to enhance performance. So that's it, kind of a shorter one today. If you guys have any recommendations, suggestions as far as video topics, go ahead and drop them down below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and I will check you all out in that next video.